Hi, and welcome back to my channel. This is Steve Kenworthy, Mr. K, with another lesson. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. And we have another lesson for you today, and this one is about countable versus uncountable nouns. Another name for the uncountable noun is mass nouns, things that you really can't count or put a, a plural on. Okay, so we're going to be looking at this. First, the definitions of these, countable versus non-countable, or mass nouns. And we're going to be using food with all of these, food and drink, uh, to uh, show how these work with the countable versus non-countable nouns. Okay, so a countable noun is a noun, and remember, a noun is a something that is a person or a place or a thing. That's what a, a noun actually is. So, a countable noun is a noun that you can you could count. You can use a or an in front of a countable noun. It is a noun that has a plural form to it. Okay. And the uncountable nouns are nouns that you can't count. And remember, another name for this is a, a mass noun, something, a mass, mass noun. Nouns you can't count, nouns that normally don't have a plural form, okay, you can't count here. Nouns that normally don't have a plural form, and we can make it an uncountable noun, a countable noun, to express quantity. We add a unit or quantity with the word of. Example is a bar of chocolate. Now, this is a bottle of water, right? The water inside of this, we can't really count the water, can we? We can't say it's like, you know, we've got 10 waters in here or 100 waters or whatever. We don't count it. But we can use this as a bottle of, a bottle of water, and that makes it then the bottle of, in the example, making it something that we can count, making an uncountable noun to a countable noun, a bottle of water, but not the water inside, okay? Okay, okay, so we're going to look at these countable and non-countable. We have several of these, and we're going to put them into the right uh, category here. So here are the words water, bread, Lemons, chocolate, sugar, tea, milk, oranges, cheese, coffee, a bar of chocolate. Remember the something of to express quantity. Butter, a loaf of bread, peach, a cup of tea, and honey. So the first one is water. Do we count or not count? Okay, so this is going to be an uncountable noun. If we said a glass of water, that makes it countable. A bottle of water, okay? The second one is bread. Do we count the bread? By itself, no we don't. Okay, so bread we're going to put here. uncountable. The next one, lemons. Can we count the lemons? Yes. Lemons as countable. Chocolate. Countable or uncountable? Chocolate is going to be uncountable. Sugar uncountable. Okay. Tea. By itself, you can say tea. Not a bag of tea or a cup of tea yet. Just tea. It's going to be uncountable. Or mass noun. Milk. Same thing applies. Milk is uncountable. Oranges. We count those oranges? Yes, we can. So oranges is going to be in the countable. Oranges as a countable noun. 
cheese will be uncountable. But if we say a slice of cheese, that's going to make it then countable, isn't it? Okay. So coffee, also coffee will be uncountable. A bar of chocolate, now that's going to be distinguished from chocolate itself. A bar of chocolate, remember we're making it quantity, we're using the word of. So a bar of chocolate is going to be countable. A bar of chocolate. Butter. Butter is going to be uncountable. A loaf of bread. That's different than saying bread, isn't it? We're using that of, so it's a loaf of bread. And so a loaf of bread is going to be countable, a countable noun, a loaf of bread. Peach. It's a fruit. We can count it. Peach is going to be under countable. Peach. Peaches. A cup of tea. Differentiated from just saying tea. A cup of tea. That, using the word of there, that's going to make it a countable And the last one, honey, is going to be an uncountable noun. Okay, so there you have it, the countable and the uncountable nouns. And we're going to do another activity in just a little bit. Okay, in this activity, we're going to use a or an in a countable noun, and we're going to use some in an uncountable, with an uncountable noun, okay? So the first one is money. And just look at overall money, the way it's presented here, it's going to be uncountable, so we're going to use some. Some money. The next one, pond. Countable. A pond. Cup of tea. A. It's countable. A cup of tea. Sugar. Uncountable. So, some. Some sugar. Bar of chocolate. Remember when we put the, using the of, we're going to make it countable. So, it's going to be a bar of chocolate. Ice cream. Some. Some ice cream. Now, if we were going to make this ice cream bar, something like that, we would say, then we could put an ice cream bar. We, it would make it countable. Rice. Rice we don't count by itself. So we have to say some some rice. Glass of water. There's the example we used before where we uh, make it countable by using the word of. So it's a, a, a glass of water. Coffee. Uncountable. Some coffee. Cake. Uncountable. Some would you like some cake? Would you like some cake? Would you like some coffee? Orange. Can we count? Yes. So it's an, because this is a vowel, of an orange. Apple. Countable. Yes. So it's an apple. And salt. Uncountable. So it's Some salt. Okay. Some money. A pond. A cup of tea. 
some sugar, a bar of chocolate, some ice cream, some rice, a glass of water, some coffee, some cake, an orange, an apple, and some salt. Okay, just a little bit of an explanation on some of these. So, we don't really count the rice, right? So we're going to say some rice. We don't really count the coffee because it's not, if it's a cup of coffee, then we could say a cup of coffee. But it's just coffee in general, so it's un uncountable. So it's some coffee. Cake is uncountable, so we say some cake. If it's a piece of cake, we could say a, a piece of cake. This one's sugar, we don't count, so some sugar. A pawn, we can count, so a pawn, some money, uncountable. A cup of tea, a bar of chocolate. Okay, we're going to be making some questions. We're going to be using how much for uncountable nouns. We're going to be using how many for nouns that we can count. Okay, so eggs, can we count? Yes. So we're going to use how many. Meat, can we count? No. So we're going to use how much. Jam. Countable or uncountable? Uncountable, so it's how much? People. Can we count the people? Yes. So we're going to say how many? Flower. Can we count the flower? No. So it's how much? Votes, we can count. So, how many? Parties, can we count? Yes. How many? And oil, can we count? No. Uncountable noun, so how much? So, how many eggs? How much meat? How much jam? How many people? How much flour? How many votes? How many parties? How much oil? Continue on with how much and how many sentences. Uh, questions, actually. So here we go. If we can count it, remember it's how many, and if we can, it's how much. So, sandwiches have you got? So, can we count those sandwiches? Yes. So, it should be how many sandwiches have you got? Next one. Can we count the milk? No. So, it's how much? How much milk is there in the fridge? The next one. Time. Can we count? No. How much time do you need? The next one, fruit. Countable or uncountable? It's uncountable. So, how much fruit can you see on the table? Friends have you got? How many? We can count those. How many friends have you got? States are there in Mexico. Can we count? Yes. How many? How 
How many states are there in Mexico? Love do you give to your mom? Uncountable. So, how much? How much love do you give to your mom? And the last one, bananas. Can we count? Yes. So, how many bananas do you eat in a day? Thank you very much for being with me in this ESL lesson with the countable versus uncountable nouns. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you remain updated. Please take care of yourself always. I'll see you the next time. Thank you so much and bye for now.